Stocks higher this week, even as Fed officials continue to talk tough on inflation. Can stocks rally while the Fed is still raising rates? Let's ask Peter Anderson, the chief investment officer at Anderson Capital Management. Peter, welcome. And uh, when do you become, maybe you are bullish on stocks here, or when do you become more so? Well, I think uh, the plan for 2023 is the Fed will start easing. I mean, well, not easing rates, but lowering the heights of which he raises rates. So maybe 25 basis points and then the next 25 basis points. After that, Kelly, I don't expect the Fed to make any material statement that they're going to cut. But if they just pause, that will be a tremendous uh, catalyst especially for tech companies this year to rally. And so that's what I'm looking forward to. I think by uh, six months into this year, we will start to see that. Are you not troubled by um, increasing recession talk that that we're hearing from CEOs and, and economists, particularly for the second half of the year? I'm not, Tyler, because I I don't think there is going to be a recession. And even if there is one, I think it will be very, very thin and very short uh, lasting. Mm -hmm. And I think we have to look beyond that. And the the most difficult thing, I think, for all investors right now is we're recovering from last year, which we all got our pants Mm -hmm. kicked. Mm -hmm. And uh, now we have to figure out where it's headed this year. And I do think the Fed has done a very, very good job. It has been less than a year that they've been raising rates. And so by a year, I would say March of this year, we will start to really see the uh, successful impacts of their campaign. Hasn't the market really been rallying since October? Well, not in my book. I mean, I've had a tough year last year. You know, I run a concentrated portfolio, only 14 stocks long. Uh, I have introduced the concept of shorting stocks, which has helped things. But uh, in my eyes, I would say we have been really, really held back, especially on the growth stocks. But we do see little hints, you know, such as today or the past couple of days when people are starting to actually adapt to the, to the narrative that the Fed might mm-hmm. actually slow down on these hikes. Mm-hmm. Peter, not not a side note, I don't know, but Zillow is one mm-hmm. of the stocks that you're short, which is having this big ripping week on it. It got a double upgrade mm-hmm. the other day. We spoke with that analyst, but you think it's fundamentally flawed. I do, Kelly. And let me tell you, you know, there's all kinds of explanations about their so-called Zestimate which is their algorithmic approximation of how houses are worked. And hats off to them. You know, it's actually a verb now. You can say, I zillowed my neighbor's house to get a sense of what the market valuation is. And they brag about all kinds of neural networks and artificial intelligence uh, analysis for this. And I have to tell you, I did something extremely simple to test this. I went on the site, on the web. I Googled my own house. And do you know you can log in to your own house and change those parameters to be Hmm. anything you want? For instance, if you have a three-bedroom house, maybe you want to enlarge it to 15 bedrooms. So you can actually put false data into that database, and that goes into their Zestimate. Hmm. You're going to break my wife's heart when you say this, because (laughs) one of her favorite pastimes is to drive Mm -hmm. around Kelly's neighborhood, say. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and do this right. estimate on all the houses. We're each tracking I'm, each other. I'm very curious because I do remember that you run a concentrated portfolio. Uh, you mm-hmm. say 14 stocks. What is your mm-hmm. single largest holding? How long have you held it? And why is it in that favored position? Well, you know, I never trim either. So I, I put in a position, Tyler, and then I let it run its course. Unless, of course, there are... Uh, new pieces of information, new facts that come out that would cause me to change my opinion on that stock. So my largest holding right now is United Rental Equipment. I mean, I've talked about this before on this show, and uh, I've been a long-term holder for that stock. I don't expect to trade it, uh, to sell it, because Mm -hmm. it has been so successful, and the data coming along with United Rentals is very, very positive. Even in the spite of all this stuff we've gone through the past two years of COVID, et cetera, uh, they have an excellent track record of rolling How big a percentage of your portfolio is it, quickly? 
it's over six. It's six to seven percent right now. All so right. you can imagine, you know, any one of these stocks is usually three to five, six percent. So they have a tremendous impact on the performance. But that's when the high conviction comes in. Right. Yep. Love it. Peter Anderson, as always, great to see you, sir. You're welcome. 2020.